New at noon, months after a tornado devastated a handful of towns across Connecticut, the state's congressional delegation is now pushing for federal relief to help homeowners, homeowners clean up downed trees. Thank you for joining us, everyone. I'm Kara Sundlin. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane is live with the Mobile Newsroom in Hamden. Matt. Well, Kara, Hamden was declared a federal disaster area. The town, it got federal dollars to help recoup the cost of those cleanups. But when it comes to down trees, uh, homeowners, they weren't as lucky. In fact, many of them on the hook for thousands of dollars. But there is a push to change that. Now, this is what Mark Basilis's backyard looked like following the May tornado that touched down in Hamden. He had more than a dozen large trees uprooted and snapped in half. His neighbors on Still Hill Road, it was one of the hardest hit areas in town. Now, while states and towns qualify for FEMA aid. Right now, homeowners can't get federal assistance when it comes to getting relief from falling trees and debris following natural disasters. In fact, we're told some homeowners, homeowners faced costs of up to $70,000 for tree removal that was not covered by their home insurance. Now, Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro, Senator Richard Blumenthal, and the Connecticut delegation, they're pushing a bill that would change that. Now, Mark says he had about $45,000 in damage and downed trees. He says he got some help from Good Samaritans when it came to chopping up and removing the wood, but adds many are not as lucky. Yeah, I was fortunate enough, but people need the help. People are putting their hands in their pocket to pay for these things. Now they have a, a $10,000, $20,000 bill. How are they going to pay it off? Now, Senator Blumenthal and Congresswoman DeLauro say time is short before Congress adjourns for the year. They say if they can't get this bill pushed through, they said they'll make another push next year. But they say this should be bipartisan, saying, you know, it happened here in Connecticut not too long ago. We had the uh, hurricane down in the Carolinas area, and now there's another one on tap for Florida. So they, they say this is something everyone should be able to get behind. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in Hamden. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.